12 rigs of Christmas. Well, Santa hitchhiked to the big city today. I'm still looking for that perfect size sleigh. And uh, I noticed we got a Duramax here and there's some toys in the street here. So I think I may be at the right place here to find Santa a new sleigh, if you know what I mean. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there is uh, no question this is the right place. Look at that, Chevy Suburban, but 68 to 72, Chevy, another one and voila oh buddy this is exactly what santa's been looking for look at this bad boy right here this is uh, my kind of ride i bet this thing would be good at the north pole you know chain it up maybe get some of them dang tracks that all the all the kids have these days so hey you in there gary yeah i'm here who's here uh, uh, santa oh who the hell you think it is hey santa haven't yeah. seen you in a while oh uh, it's, it's definitely been a while i've been I've been up the hill a little bit, but I got a ride down this morning because I heard uh, this might be what I'm looking for. Santa's looking for a new sleigh. Yeah, you think you could fit in this sleigh, Santa? Oof, well, we'll see about that in a little bit. So first off, you know, I might be a buyer on this thing. Okay, interesting. You know, I, I know they say nothing's for sale, but I had to come try you out on this bad boy. So tell me what this thing is. Uh, it's an oddity. It is an oddity. Yes, and it's technically a 1970 Coney wide body 360. So which, 70 Coney truck. This does not look like Ayaki Motor Company. Wait, this is not a wide body. <laughs> I'm a wide body. Yeah, I can't argue with that one. <laughs> um, so 1970? Yes, sir. And was not from the United States of America, no, was it? No, this is Japanese. Japanese, huh? Uh, you think the Japanese had chrome uh, steel wheels? I don't think so. And I don't think this was a 4x4 either originally. Oh, you're right, huh? So, hold on, let me see if my presents fit back there. Boom. So what we're looking for is a new sleigh. So show us around the body first, tell us what you got. So inside here, basically a... Uh, basically a very small, compact, utilitarian vehicle that was used in Japan for deliveries and, and a lot of commercial so stuff. These things ran all around Japan. I feel like it's an elf size. VW bus. Yeah. Because I've driven a VW bus before back when I was smoking weed and hanging out with Janice Joplin and all the cool people, you know, because I'm timeless. Okay. Right? Sure you um, are. And, uh, but it's a little smaller, a lot smaller. Um, so this looks all original inside. I'm looking for something that's kind of been reworked. Oh, you know, Santa doesn't like original stuff. It's definitely been reworked. It's, uh, it has a Polaris 600 twin quad power. Wait, 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 wait a second. So this is what reminded me maybe something's going on. So look at this. That looks like something off of a handlebar, you know, switches there, like on my dirt bike. So that's making me think there might be something different. So what, what do you got going here? Polaris quad motor, right? Yeah. So if, if let's... You, uh, if you look underneath... Let's see. I took the complete chassis of the quad. Oh, look at that. The whole subframe's under there. There's the engine. What size engine? It's a 600 twin. 600 twin. Um, and the quad was shaft drive, right? Correct. Okay, and you basically just stuffed it right in. Let's, let's go to the other side. I wanna see the other side. Cause you can see the drivetrain on the other side, right? So, all right, I'm looking. You got engine, transfer case right here, driveline going to the back, driveline going to the front. Those are the cutest differentials I've ever seen. Those came Look out at this. a Suzuki Jimny. I can palm that differential. <laughs> A Suzuki Jiminy? Jimny. That was also a Japanese vehicle. It looked like a small version of a Suzuki Samurai. Like a Jimmy. That's another word for a rubber. Jimny. Is Jiminy. What it was called. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I see you got leaf springs, spring over on the axles. Yeah, that's all custom. Um, all custom. Battery mounted right there. So, fan up underneath there. So, is it air or water cooled? Yep, it has a water cooled. So, show us what's in the back here. So. That's an old file cabinet slash dog house. There's the quad gas tank, right in the yep. spot where it would be on the quad. Yep. Still has a factory fuel gauge inside, so I can see how much gas I got. So, four-wheel drive, uh, Coney truck, 
What size tires? 31s? These are 32s. 32s? Yeah. I might need that. Do some urban wheeling. So all the sides come down. So, you know, Santa's got a bad back, so I can easily just unload and load the present. Yeah, I was thinking very easy. It also, the ladies can get up in there a little easier, you know? Well, the elf ladies might need a little help. It's still yeah. tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> all right, well, I'd like to take this thing for a test drive. How's that work? And click. I'd like to take it for a test drive, but I can't help but see a little bit of America everywhere I look here. And I can tell right now you are not your average cat, Gary. First off from the Def Leppard shirt, you know, dig that. So what do you, what do you got going here? You're, you're living in the city, you have a tiny little two car garage. Oh, Sorry. a few leaves. It was distracting me. How many vehicles do you have here, you think? I have more than I should have for and where I live. And I probably don't fit in with the rest of the neighborhood. Most of uh, the neighbors drive Teslas. This, these are kind of like Teslas. Well, I mean, the big brother of my Coney here, when a Tesla breaks down, I used to, the cigarette lighter to help jumpstart them. So I Charge guess what up. we have to decide, is Santa looking for this or is Santa looking for this? Like you always walk into the store looking for one thing and then you get something else. So this is really, we got to talk about this, right? Okay. So not many people have a four wheel drive converted van. Uh, what do you call this, a G20? That's a, that's a G20. G20. And it's a factory converted Pathfinder van. So and what year is it? 1979. So, um, the thing's pretty big, Gary. Yeah, it's tall. Yeah. It's, uh, it's about 10 feet at the top of the lights. So what kind of rubber's on this thing? Those are Swampers, TSLs, 44 inch. God bless Santa's soul. Oh, that just makes me feel good in my heart right there. 16, five 16 wheels. 16, five wheels, yep. yep. Just like our friend Chris Ballinger. So one other thing here, come look at this. What is that? Is there a toilet in there or something? No. What's all that plumbing? What's no, all that tubing? Th this van does a lot of racing. So it looks like a race. Yeah, car. it's a race van for sure. <laughs> it said it on the box when I put the open the turbo. The Hot Wheels up. race van. <laughs> yeah. It's got a 76 millimeter turbo on there, single turbo. 76 millimeter single turbo, and this doesn't have a straight six, right? No, not quite. Uh, what? Like, so what kind of power plant you got? It's got a 2002 LS1 out of an old Camaro, O2 Camaro. So that's kind of OG LS, you know, yep, way back in the that's day. That's one of the first ones that made a little bit of power. So LS1, LS1 with the turbo, what, what gear ratio you got in this? This thing has four, five 13s in it. Five 13s, yep. chrome bumper, hood scoop. Oh yeah. That thing is yeah. sick. You gotta bring the 80s out a little bit. Real KC lights, yep. right? Rig None of this LED BS. Original ones right here. Yeah, original. When you click these on the alternator, it does a little bog down, huh? The one good thing about the LS motors, they got some high amperage alternators, so yep. it works. It works well. So I see you got a uh, WFO spring hanger right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. This was already converted to four-wheel drive, but you did a bunch of work to this thing. Correct. Right? My my buddy, Alan Magrini, Magrini Fab is the one, that, the key guy that helps me get my stuff looking stupid. So, so. springs all the way around are yep. 10 inch lift? It, it was a 12 inch super lift that was for a K5. Uh huh. And Alan helped uh, made it work on the make it, make it work basically. And Dana 60 front, right? Yep, out of an early F350. So all these old Pathfinder conversions, what what a lot of guys don't know is that they were all driver side drop. Correct. Usually yeah. they had a low pinion 44 in the front. Um, so you put a high pinion Dana 60 in this thing, yep. tin pin. Um, I see you got some WFO high steer arms yep. and uh, all your steering off the top. Nice uh, intercooler right there. Yep, it's hidden, but it yep. works. Yep, yep. And so I think what we're going to do is I really like four-wheel drive conversions and anything four-wheel drive. So we got to look at this. So first off, Santa could just sit under this thing. That is awesome. So this is the whole key to the driver's side drop which also allows you to have high pinion, which allows you to get the drive line to fit, which is allows you to get good working four wheel drive, right? Yep. So Pathfinder 
did this. What is this transfer case? That's a 205. No, this is a Ford 205, driver's side drop. Um, uh, love the air horns, got to have that. Um, and then you still had to do kind of a crazy drive line, right? Yeah, and that wasn't in the budget, but it had to be done because I had one picture get viral and I, the Bluetooth shit started. Oh, you didn't so have a drive line. We oh, had to shut that good. down yep. real fast. And this one is fully functioning, yes, right? Yes, everything functions. Because that CV, what do they call that CV? A badass motherfucker. Well, can you say that on the internet? No, a BAMF, I'm B -A -M -F. sorry. BAMF, yes. alright. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Turbo 350. Yeah, and it works. It works good, all four wheel drive working, and this thing just hums down the highway, yeah, huh? Yeah, it rips. Yeah, and being that the leaf springs are arched and stiff, and, and one thing a lot of people don't do, it, you can see right here, check this out. He's got a track bar from the frame to leaf spring perch in line with your steering, so that stops the bump steer. That huh? stopped all my problems when I added that. It made this thing drive 100 times better. Yeah, I mean, even with leaf springs, Every stock leaf spring Ford truck had a track bar in it, right? So back here in the rear, 14 bolt ribbed housing, factory disc brakes. So this is like a early 2000s. Early 2000s. We love using Chevy those. Truck. Slam in, good to go. Um, <clears throat> am I correct that you don't have e brake cables hooked yeah, up? Yeah, fully functional e brake. Damn, that is awesome. So e brake hooked up, fuel tank in the back there, small block. Um, but this is a driver, right? Yep. You hop in this thing, drive it across I the drive, Bay Bridge. I drive it to work all the time. Drive it to work and just turn some heads. So the underneath, four-wheel drive, everything's badass in this thing. But, you know, Santa sees everything, so I, I know what's going on. Yeah, so, you want to see some more? Why don't you show us what's in here? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> but I did go wing both doors. Sometimes I forget how to open it. So you could, you could individually open them up but it's much better click them together Dude, that is awesome and, open how, and how does a guy get in something well, like this it makes it a lot easier if you have a an onboard ladder and even sure. when you put it up the pin goes back in well right? yeah you don't want it to fall out Dude, that is awesome so grab handle yep. climb up in here and uh it kind of looks like a little bit of a dungeon huh yeah that's kind of the theme of it yeah so does this, this goes up, yeah. right? If you just slam it so, up, there's a bare latch above so your head. So this. Go ahead and push it up. Oh, okay. And that's a ladder to go on the roof, right? That's correct. That's the hatch. And a hatch right here to go on the roof that even fits Santa Claus, right? Yeah, we call that the poop deck. Do that. And then what happens back here on top, top of the shag carpet? Usually magic, but we don't talk about that. Oh, dang. I like to talk about it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Love the lights. So this is kind of like the uh, dungeon theme, huh? That's correct. So uh, you think the Iron Maiden uh, floor mat goes with Santa Claus and the Christmas theme? I don't see why not. The colors match, don't they? Yeah, I like it, you know? It's American. Holy cow, you got leather seats in this bad boy? Oh yeah, you gotta be comfy. Oh, dude, I know Santa, hold on. Let me just check something out. Can you, you get a feel for this? Oh. Let's see. Oh, oh it's, little it's a, tight. It's a tilt and it's a little will, tight. The seat will slide back. Woo! <laughs> Man, look at that wheel. Oh yeah. It feels American in here. You got you got boost gauges and stuff? Yeah, you what for racing Woo! Bands, you need boost for that gauge. racing engine, yep. Oh, the wood still for your cocktails. I mean waters, yep. Absolutely. What happened to the tape deck? Well, it didn't have a tape deck, so I left what was in it, Santa. So it's got a plug, I can Bluetooth it. Dude, this thing is sick. So, you really got my head turning. Question is, am I looking for something like this? Or am I looking for something like that? I don't know, we might have to test them both. But, first things first, I'm not done here. Oh, yeah, she's up there. So, what's going on? I mean, we're, we're in the middle of the concrete jungle here and things are happening. Uh, I like everything, Santa. I'm a car enthusiast, as you can see. You are definitely a car enthusiast. You are preserving history, and each one of these vehicles is so unique, I don't even know what to do. Tell me what this is. This is a 1976 G20. We, we call them heavy vans. When so let's get, look up. When we boogie them out. Another, what do you call this type of door? It's, it's gold winged. Gold wing uh, van, okay. And yeah. back in the day, they used to have fiberglass because they were so heavy, these, but we got to see. These are all real diamonds? Yeah. Well, real are, crystals? Oh, yeah, those are perfectly 100%. Yeah, is this going to fix my feng shui? Because, you know, last year people thought that I was like a uh, bad Santa, dirty Billy Bob Thornton, drunk, you know? 
Am I? I don't think so. No. Hey, do you have a beer? Yeah, right there. Look at. Why, why don't you show them the inside while I go find your fridge? <laughs> well, this van actually started out as an original I mean, boogie van. Oh, look at that. This uh, this back seat, original velour still. All the headliner, original from the 70s. I had to change the carpet because the wife wouldn't really ride in it with the original carpet. Grenades, Coors original, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Gotta get a bumblebee. So that's not original shag? No, no. The original shag was very stiff. Yeah. So it needed to be. Yeah, you probably didn't want to blacklight that, did it you? It needed to be cleaned up a little so, bit. So, hold on, I gotta sit in here. I gotta check this out. Can I sit here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. You know, Santa's been around a long time. These were the good old days. You know, look at these ladies. Just amazing pieces of work, you know. Good creations, soft interior. Things can happen in here, you know what I mean? I got a lot of off days. There's only one day for me to work. I have 364 days to party. I think I might need to get something like this. Are you thinking this would be an off season type sleigh? I don't think that I would want to haul presents in this. I think that I would want to pick things up in this. Got gotcha. you. If you know what I mean? Got gotcha. you. So, uh, can you explain what this is? That's, that's American right there. God. That's a factory eight track. Is this, does it, is it playing music right now? Yeah, let's turn up the volume. Oh my Lord. Oh. The eight track track won't play, well, will it? It typically does, but it's not working right now because it's, uh, it's at the end of the reel. Oh, yeah, that happens, huh? Yeah, that's a bummer. So this thing is equipped with a flat screen TV. Oh, yeah. And a full stereo system. Oh, yeah, it's got a lava lamp. And the lava lamp. When it warms up, it starts mo moving around oh, a little bit. Oh, my God. And the same steering wheel as the other van. Oh, yeah, you got to have an octagon. So and another 8-track player. Oh, yeah, that's an original. In oh, there. my, that's the original? Well, it's an original. It's an original one. of sure. that, that yeah. this period. So It came with the van. You know, do you think that young people these days would even know what to do with something like no, this? No, no. Like, and you pull up to a party, the girls come out. I feel like these young kids would just be on their phones texting. They wouldn't even know they don't, they don't appreciate to invite this, people this in. They probably wouldn't even know what kind of equipment you want to pick up before you go to a party when you're driving this van. Yeah, I'm picking, Pharmaceuticals up, what you're, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, things like that. Like, you know how when you used to stand outside the liquor store and... and Ask a guy to go in and get you something. No, give him an extra ten. I don't recall that. No, I don't remember that either. Oh, but okay. you know, uh, this thing in the hands of the right guy uh, could be put to use. This thing in the hands of a of a new younger generation, they 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 wouldn't even know where to start. But Santa knows. <laughs> we'll trust you with that one, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So what's this? That's a 1966 Buick Riviera. Oh my. Wait. Hold on. I just thought of something. My Spidey Santa sense, right? What engine's in this? Oh, that's got a, a six liter with a 4L80 trans. So this LS, six liter LS. Oh yeah. 4L80, that didn't come original. No, of course <laughs> it didn't come original. Look at that, fits in there, just amazing. Drive-by wire, obviously it stays ice cold. Look at this. Mechanical stock fan. That's how you keep them cool. Did you know Santa digs that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, LS powered. Is it fast? It's, it's uh, it moves. I would guess it's probably in the 400 range. It's got a 12 volt posi in it. And the side pipes. Oh, they're functional. Classic. All right. I, I didn't want to skip over that that engine, the power plant. So, on to this. Different, a little bit different style, right? So, oh, what yeah. would you call this? A boogie van? I would call it a boogie van. That's typically what it's considered. I would call that a boogie van too. The license plate, you know, uh, kind of explains it too. But so, why are wheels on this? Oh yeah, you know? a little bit different, right? Everything's got its own flair here. Everything's got its own style. So, gold flake, wire wheels, Buick Riviera, and you know. When I got my fourth DUI, I needed one of these so I could turn with the handcuffs yeah. on, you know, when yeah, I got yeah. away. But uh, that is slick. Is this on bags? This is on hydros. Oh, it's on, this is no way. Yeah, we call this a white boy low rider. White boy low rider <laughs> on hydros. Oh, yeah. And uh, and the paint by a magician, my buddy, Tyler Pullen. Dude, the paint is unreal. Yeah, he painted both these vehicles. Oh, the graphics on both of the vehicles are are over the top and so much 
blood, sweat, and tears goes into this type of a paint job. And, and nowadays, people are taking a Lambo and putting a wrap on it. Like, nobody's actually no. taking the time to paint a vehicle like this, right? Nope. Very, it, 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 it's mostly the lowrider community that's, that gets down with the paint. What's this powered by? It's just got a, a, an original Buick motor, no is LS. That, is that like a 400 or what? This, this actually has a 67 engine, has a, a 430 in it. Oh, okay. It should have had a nail head, but the, the original owner's kid that, that I got it from, he blew it up. So. And has a ton of batteries in the trunk then for the hydros? It's just got four. It's, it's not a hopper. It's more of a 70s style. Just pick it up. Can you do three-wheel three -wheel motion in, in it? While moving, yes. Oh, not man. standing still. But so I are you listening to uh, hard rock while you're driving this? I kind of change the genres around when I get into oh, different yeah, vehicles. You kind of would have to, right? You know. You, so, I mean, just looking what we got going here. Rather flamed hood. That looks like a Chevy car hood almost. That's a 1960 Cadillac trunk. Oh, it, it, I'm, I'm wrong there. <laughs> yeah. It was a menu for my old caddy build. All your ago. signs. all oh, Dude, the Scarface poster. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you get that? Uh, my brother gave me that many, many years ago. Oh, man. Tony Montana. He's a buddy of mine. We party. I'm sure. <laughs> so... Moving over, <coughs> oh man, Santa's had a rough, you know, 12 years of Christmas, you I'm know, sure. hitting it hard, getting up busy. early. Yeah. yeah, the suit's really taking a beating, I noticed. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mud, smells like stale beer and whiskey. What's this bad boy? Oh, this is a, a Louis Vuitton custom painted three-wheel scooter. My wife, so, you know, my wife uses it to get around the car shows, it makes it a little this, easier. Look at this Louis Vuitton oh, seat. Yeah. That is, I bet that's original Louis, Louis Vuitton print, yeah, right? We, yeah, you didn't we, get that on Amazon. No, we sliced a purse open to do that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. My buddy Tyler so, painted that also. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look how sick that drawing is. Everything. Everything in this shop is just over the top. And I see you have plastic here. Do you paint in here? Uh, not legally, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So as we're, you know, sliding back into the shop and still looking at all the cool trinkets, I mean, like, for instance, you have a wad of eyeballs. Like, what do you suppose those are for? You never know when you can use some extra eyeballs. Yeah, and, and your, your Halloween costume. So tell us about this, because this isn't LS powered. No, and it's this, this has a conventional 455 Olds motor. And, and what's the car? It's a 1949 Merc with a ton of custom mods. So it looks like it's chop topped. Yeah. Um, you know, all the front clip has been reworked. All the metal work looks amazing. It's in progress, yep, right? Yeah, it's definitely in progress. But the, the underneath the stuff is, is good to go. It's 100% done. 12 bolt posi rear end, of course. And you're keeping this one period on the motor. Yeah, trying yep. to keep it a period so style. So that, that is a Pontiac or Oldsmobile motor, right? Old 1970 W30 motor. Okay, yeah. I don't know what all the W's and all that are, but uh, it's, it just, a, it's, it's a non-LS. How's that? Yeah, non-LS. Non non-LS based. Doesn't need to but, go fast. This but way. it does remind me of Pontiac because of that air cleaner and Oldsmobile. Yeah, so um, this kind of stuff right here, like if we could get a trailer hooked up to this, <laughs> so this would be a badass ride for Santa too and, and a beer holder. Um, you know, handlebars come unscrewed. Is this considered a rep? It's a Honda mini bike, right? It's a 69 Z50. I mean, it, but, and it's plated. It is plated, That's huh? original paint, original everything, that bike. Really? I oh, didn't yeah. know that they had the blue and silver on Oh, yeah. Man. That's all factory, that bike. So you, you, you ride around in that thing? Well, yeah. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, pinball machines. Like, for instance, just a spare LS sitting in the corner well, you have by to, the pinball you, machine? You got to keep a couple in stock, sure. I mean... <laughs> You don't, nobody just has LS's everywhere. I thought they did, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Pinball, they all work. And then this is almost a little too new school for you, is well, what I'm thinking. It's more fun. It's just, my buddy Alan gave me a half of a motorcycle, an old Honda 230, and I made it You fit. can't help yourself from coming in this garage and just working. Keeps me busy. So 230 motorcycle engine, but what, something's, there's electronics on this. What's oh, going yeah. on? Oh it's, yeah, it's electric start, it's got light. It's, Dude, that is crazy. So you got electric start, and is it, is it a full shifter cart then? Yeah. Got gears? Yeah, oh yeah. So you got clutch. It's a full shifter. Oh, shift on the steering. That is ridiculous. And you, you just drive this thing around the city. Yeah, I go, I get milk in it and stuff when needed. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah. Um, 
Looks like you picked up a new couch. Yeah, no. Yep. Yeah, uh huh. That's vintage. And uh, so this is so every garage has to have a cigarette machine. Absolutely. In case you want to light up. Sure. A um, couple skateboards, couple hubcaps, BB gun. Then you got your drum set. So as if you're not ruining the neighborhood enough, you can just come in here and throw down some drums. You know when they complain about having 12 cars parked on the street. Yeah, the kids like to make noise down here. Yeah, you know I got a buddy named John Webb that is a pretty big impact on his neighborhood, and I think you might have a bigger impact than Webb. <laughs> so, uh, the Schlitz sign, unbelievable. And uh, Oli, you know it's the water that makes that beer? Now and I, it's a good luck beer, too. Now I do. Uh, and something, I think something that just happened, they closed down the Oli factory, the Oli plant. In Olympia, Washington, I think it just closed down. That's a tragedy. It's a bad deal. It's just, it's, the dumbing down of America in full force, which you are helping to offset. You're like the carbon credit offset of the dumbing down of America because this is preserving history. Seats, you know, every garage has to have a glass case, right? Absolutely, you gotta put you all know, your chingaderas in there. Knives and chrome and <laughs> aluminum and all new, right? Or, or, or all original, not new repop correct stuff. that's all old stuff like you're not going to get repop things and put them on these cars no look at all these figurines i mean this place out of control out of control gary uh you are a, a interesting human being i love it <laughs> love it love it love it rat fink seat so as much as i want to go take a ride in this thing and see what i think i might want to take a ride in that thing but you know while we're here Let's look at some of your other cars. Okay, what do you want to see? Uh, let's just walk out and see. We'll walk past these beauties. We have got to check out this. This is our first stop. So uh, this looks like a 72 GMC, right? Sure is. So a Sierra Grande. So tell me a story about this one. This started out as my son wanting an early 67 to 72 four by and he wanted a long bed and i was mr anti long bed everything yeah and you know it was for him so he he so wanted long so we, it looks like maybe not the original paint but maybe a one-time paint job like 20 30 years ago it started out as a two-wheel drive and it was painted up kind of decently and then the last owner put it on a 69 four by chassis okay and the guy's uncle long story rolled the jeep yeah. And he took the whole drivetrain out, gotcha. axles and everything from some Jeep. So this truck, 72, kind of hodgepodge truck, but this thing has some badass stuff in it. So first off, three three quarter ton, but it's actually a one ton. It's got a 60 in the front. What size tires are these? 39 and a half swamps. And the radials, right? Yes, I rock radials. And on what size rims? 16 16.5. 16 16.5s. There's a theme going at this house right here. <laughs> so uh, classic step. I'm going to look underneath here. Oh, I don't want to spill my beer, so Ooh, true dual exhaust all the way to the back. Yeah. Um, what is that, a 70 rear? Yeah. Oh, it is, because this is Dodge running gear, yeah. right? Gen, so, Gen 1. Gen 1 Dodge and Atlas transfer case. Yeah. I mean, what a sleeper, right? Three quarter ton, got an Atlas, 70 rear, fuel tank in the rear, yeah. aluminum tank in the rear, awesome. And I see some uh, high pressure fuel lines, so that's gonna lead me up to the front. I'm also looking at that transmission, and that's got the, uh, uh, boy, what is that? That's a 4L80. 4L80, that's what it looked like, yeah. right? So passenger drop on the Kingpin Dana 60. So let's look around the front here. Santa likes to climb around stuff. So, Selectro front locking hubs right here, right? Yep. So, when you find a 60 with these bolt-on locking hubs, it's almost always early Dodge. So a Chevy single wheel hub and rotor will still go on there and have the internal spline locking hubs, but what you got is working. Bilstein shocks, two wheel drive steering box. Um, looks like a little WFO steering on there, huh? Yeah, they have my credit card on file. Yeah, we tend to burn that thing up, don't we? Yeah. So I'm looking right here, full high steer, and then there's a theme running. Back under here, right at the oil, LS oil pan, got a track bar on this one too, right? Yep. And the track bar, Mounts right to the frame here, little gusset. It's a little crude, but I yep. got it done, it works. So the track bar makes it drive down the road a ton better, right? 100 times better. Yep. So why don't we pop the hood? Let's look at this thing. GMC dual headlight front clip, love that. And uh, what is that? It's a 5.3. 
So 5.3 Gen 3 LS, yep. drive-by wire. It's got AC on it. Oh yeah, ice cold. So you put vintage AC on this yep. thing. The truck drives great. <laughs> Goes to the lake, takes the jet skis, tows a boat, whatever you want to do. Mechanical fan with a shroud. Yep. Absolutely amazing. No problems that way. Tranny cooler up front right here for the 4L80. So Big this is a full-on functional truck driver, yep. right? The patina is still good on the paint and everything. Um, hop in it and get down the road. So, and love the GMC and the four headlights in yeah. the front. What's the, uh, does the interior look all right on this thing? Yeah, we cleaned it all up. Woo, love that color. Look at the gauges on that thing. And the fa that's a factory automatic column, huh? Yep, it's original. Dude, Those that. are the RTX gauges. Love that you hooked the, the automatic up to the column and kept it full bench seat. D does your son put his lady there in the center? I haven't seen one yet, I'm waiting. Oh, man. He needs to work on that. Yeah, maybe you See, give some tips, Santa. I do like, look at the cowboy hat holder right there. That is America. Here we are in the concrete jungle and there's a nice, probably 1020X beaver felt hat sitting in the truck. Love it, yes! All right, we're walking down the street now. This one's yours, huh, Gary? Yeah, it became mine. They started out both as my sons because he wanted one of them and after building that with them, I kind of decided I needed my own. Well, fuck it. Let's do the first thing. Did I say that loud? Sorry. I don't. Let's do the first things first. Open the hood. Want to open the hood? Yeah. God, everyone, look at this. So this is a newer LS, huh? Yeah, this is out, in, out of a 2011 Camaro. 2011 Camaro. Is it a six liter still? It's a, yeah, it's a 6.2. Oh, 6.2, yeah. yeah, okay. And you can see the new style computer. Yeah, it's a, um, little, it's a little crude, but these are driver cars. I'm not trying to make but them But you fancy did something looking. to this too. You took out the active fuel management and the variable valve timing? Yeah, or? it's crap. You gotta get rid of that and delete it and put a, a new cam and lifters and all that good stuff. So you went through the motor and kind of converted it back a little bit. Yeah. It runs good. Stage, huh. stage two cam, and then I added a hydro boost. Hydro boost brake, stage two cam, new fan. Uh, you had to go electric fans on this because yes. these never had mechanical and I fans. Don't, and on I them. do not like them. I don't like the sound. I don't like the sound either. I mean, it cools fine, right? It's just the noise. It yeah. doesn't feel like you're preserving history, you know. But if that's the one thing you get, there's a give and take. If that's there's the a give one and give take. and take, you make an exception. Sometimes yep. it's worth. I love the cold air intake here. Where's the Where's the air filter? It's tucked down there. Oh, there it is, yeah. tucked way inside it's here. In there. Yep. Bitching. AC. Oh, AC on this one too. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, go ahead and close the hood. I'm noticing the paint on this one is a lot nicer than the yeah, other. Yeah, I had this one uh, cleaned up a little bit. Yep, the buffed and polished and that kind of well, stuff. Well, yeah, we resprayed it. We had it resprayed. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, steel wheels. Yeah, those are 16s. 16s on this one. with the factory Chevy caps, right? Um, still has push pull steering in there. Uh, Cause it's kind of that classic. It's not lifted too high, right? No, it came, I believe this is like a six inch old school lift, but it, it bucks like a Bronco. This is the worst riding vehicle I've ever owned. Really? But that's gonna change. 35 inch BFGs, white walls out, of course. Yep. Um, and this one still has a gas tank? Nope. No, oh, just didn't just cover like the, the hole. Yeah, I just yep. took the look. I put it All in right. the tank and Well, the let's back. look at the inside here. So this is what I'm talking about. Your classic, Chevy interior, absolutely immaculate. And then same gauge cluster as the other one? Yep, Dakota RTX. And I used a, an early 90s Chevy seat because they're a little thinner. Oh, really? So you can you fit can in a little better? a little better. Oh, I can see the frame down there. So that frame is from 88 to 98. Yep. Pickup, you got to go in there, huh? Yeah, they, they fit right in. And then uh, my buddy Todd Veers, he stretched the cover right over it and made it, made it work. And he did that classic seat cover, huh? Yep. And uh, look at this right here, look at this. You got your gun rack. Yeah. I mean, between the cowboy hat holder and the gun rack, uh, you are definitely uh, uh, putting a footprint down here in the city. Let me tell you that. That is amazing. So rear gas tank in it then? Yeah, I, did a, I didn't want to put a, a funky fill, so I just did something right up in the fender well here. Oh, so you just stick the, stick the filler right in the yep. fender? It blends in. I could go full speed with the Nice aluminum nozzle. tank. Yep, we did. Yep. And there's something I can see back here on this one. If you look underneath there, look at that rear end. What, you know what that's called? It's an Eaton. Yeah, Eaton HO72. It's like the, uh, the early 14 bolt. Some oh. of the parts are actually uh, interchangeable to a, to a standard 14 bolt. Drop out third member with a removable rear cover. 
And then this is classic right here. The steel step bumper. Oh, you got to have one. You're not planning on getting rid of that, nope. right? No, it's staying on there. That, that is, uh, that, you know, when I was just old enough to uh, ride with my dad, go to the dump and drive around, you'd be driving, every truck in front of us had this steel step bumper. Barton yeah. bumper. And most of them had gun racks. And sliding rears. With kids riding in the back. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not done. We're moving across the street now. So uh let's let's start this like we start everything let's open the hood all right take a peek because the money maker's always under the hood or in the vans in the back so what's that that's a 5.3 with a 4l60 trans out of an 08 silverado and that is a gravel box what's a gravel box that's my custom cold air intake which i have heated duct that goes up in between the fender well and you have a gravel box to change your filter. Oh wait, so it comes up through that hole yes, underneath. Sir. So you have a duct that comes through, comes up through there into this box. Yeah, this is very custom. And you, cause you have to encapsulate the air filter, otherwise you'd just be sucking under the hood air. That's correct, you get cold so air. So you're gonna get to run that much better. Yeah, for racing. Yeah, for racing, this looks like a race car. Uh, so this is not Gen 3, this is uh, Gen 4. It's a Gen 4, yes. And mechanical fan, yep. aluminum radiator, and no shroud, no shroud and needed because it's so close. Never and, overheated it. Yep, yep. 10 years this has been in here. Computer mounted, dual diaphragm uh, brake booster in here. And what'd you have to do to the Gen 4 motor? I didn't do anything to this one. It still has the, the variable valve timing. And, and active that. fuel and management. But you just, said you could turn the active fuel management. It's just turned off in the... In the in the tuning. Okay, and it runs great. Perfect. And all these vehicles get pretty good mileage, right? Oh, I get about 22 to 25 on the freeway with this one. Okay, so let's stand back. We're gonna look at this thing right here. Oh, like, look at this. Here comes a Tesla driving through the neighborhood. Like, what's the world we're living in right here? Yeah, that's pretty much- Next thing you know, we're gonna have one of those autonomous cars go by. <laughs> go plug in. All right, so. Tell me what this is. It's a 1952 Chevy Carriol, which so kind of adapted the name Suburban. We, we would call yeah. that in the later years a Suburban, yeah. but a Carriol. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know a lot about these, but uh, there's no back doors. No, nope. two doors. So neither side has a back door, right? Um, and is this thing on bags or what's this yeah, on? Yeah, it's got a four link in the back and it's airbagged. And 12 volt? Uh, it has a 10.5. Uh, I'm sorry, 8.5 10 bolt in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And then take a look at the inside of this bad boy. Red interior. Yep. And uh, automatic on the column, but that you put the old steering wheel back on? Yep, on a newer tilt column. I see there's a shower uh, knob right here. What do you. That's an old doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the, that do? That's the e brake handle. Yes, oh, that's the e brake. E -brake. And it works. All and my cars do. Obviously, bench seat, right? So. Did this normally have a back seat? Yeah, these you are poke three, in there and look they're at the three inside? seats, typically, but I only run the run two. So you took the back seat out? Yeah, right? I had to have some extra room for the suspension and travel. It's a full on driver. You drive oh, this yeah. thing all the time, right? 10 years been driven. Ten. That motor's been in there 10 years. Yep, and it has heated seats. Oh my God, that, those are heated seats? Yeah, there's a button right there. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and I'm looking, the the, Passenger side there has that little tiny seat that must fold forward to yep, get in the that's, back. That's the jumper seat. Because I mean, being a two-door suburban, you know, if you need to get to the back, right? That's how everybody gets in. Oh, that is amazing. That is awesome. Just so simple and functioning. Whoop! Watch that. That is. Now, this is a cool car. You know, I mean, it just doesn't get any better. Well. The other thing, so I'm walking past this, let's go to the next car. Hmm, what do we have behind us? Duramax. So this is how you haul and pick everything up, right? Yep, that's the driver right there. That's, <clears throat> the, that's the runner. Dude, those are sick wheels. What size are those methods? Those are 2010s. That's what I thought. And these are 40s, right? Yes, sir. So 40s on 20s just look awesome. Yeah, um, just the right amount of sidewall. Deaver springs in the rear. And this is the 06, 07 model, huh? Yeah, 06, LBZ. LBZ. Six speed. But you you gotta- uh, I know. 
You got IFS in there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'll work on that. Yeah, yeah we'll work on Maybe that. Maybe next year, Santa. <laughs> well, uh, I think we need to go across the street because you have a couple other ones, right? There's a couple more hidden. All right, show me across the street. Sure. I assume this might be your car too. This is pretty damn cool right here, Gary. Yeah. That's you got a, the solar charger. Yeah, that's that's a Tesla add-on. Oh, that's a Tesla add-on? Yeah, I got that from one of the neighbors. Charging station yes, here. Yes, correct. Yeah, keep the battery good, but this, let's see if we can guess what that is. Oh boy. That is Cadillac and that has a fender it skirt. It sure is, those are Vogue, But it's a little they? new, those are Vogue, so what is this? It's a traveling car in style. 1996 this? Cadillac Brome, LT1 Man. powered, rear wheel drive. It's basically the Corvette drivetrain or the 96 Impala drivetrain. Uh, LT1, right? Yeah. So basically, this is basically like a cowboy Cadillac. Yeah, you could be exactly rolling this to, to all the Rodeos, you know, or you might be going to a Def Leppard, Van Halen, ZZ Top, Metallica concert, riding style, right? Get you there. Absolutely. So, a few more cars. So, <laughs> C10. Yeah, 1975. Pre-smog in California. That's correct. That was my uncle's original owner. Original owner, C10, step side. Non-LS. No, oh, non-LS? Original Well, because you're preserving it, right? Yes, yes. I mean, you know who bought it, where it's been all its life? Has it been yeah. wrecked? Nope, she's been very used. And then they have repainted it. Yeah, they did a quick cleanup. Oh, on dude, it years the ago. classic rallies, huh? Those are original Kragers. Damn. Those are right from the 70s. Those Love actually it. came on the disco van when I got it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it just keeps on going. <laughs> so, Firebird com convertible. 68. So, we just saw a Firebird uh, yesterday that was lifted a little higher than this. Yeah, a little bit. I noticed that. So, this is a 68 convertible, 400 engine. This was a 400 four-speed original and- Oh uh, my God, this is a four-speed car? Uh, it was, yeah, and oh. now it's a six-speed. Look at that. This is a driven, Look, this is a very that driven is car. classic. I mean, six-speed manual transmission, got the original buckets, interior, convertible car. Um, you said you, did you say you built this for, or put together for your son? Yeah, my son started driving it in high school. Are you looking to adopt? I'm all full. God damn. <laughs> even, the, even the wheels. Yeah, the wheels put, are just, they pop. Put some Hearst wheels on it. Oh, love it. Okay, so. It did get an LS swap, too. You got two, a positive and a negative here. <laughs> I see a 14-bolt uh, disc brake truss ready for four links, so that's an upcoming project, which that's going in. The green 72. The green 72, because it rides like crap, right? Yep. You just ruined all your mojo right here. I mean, this is, <laughs> just tell me if Santa would look good in this. There's not a chance. Doesn't look right, Santa. This is not cool. Doesn't look right. No, unless, <laughs> dude, we could LS this. Yes, it's in the, dude, it's in the works. Oh, it is in the yes. works. Oh man, if you, if you <laughs> rear engine LS this thing. I actually was considering Hayabusa swap. Hayabusa would be good too. It might fit a little better. <sighs> Dirt bikes. So, all right, we're gonna keep walking in here. Oh, I gotta go the other way. It's tight. tight. You know, I mean, here, here we go. The urban jungle. Squeeze so, in here. I, I, does 76, does 76 still give away the antenna balls? No, I don't think they do. Oh man. Uh, the, another thing lost in the generations, right? Yeah. I mean, the antenna, antenna balls were classic. So they all had them. I'm looking at the taillights. This pretty much tells me what this is. So what's the year of this car? 1963 SS Impala. Oh, and it's original SS. The original paint car. Oh my God. And this is original paint too? Yep. Was this a Fremont car? This was. Or you don't know? I'm not sure actually. I didn't look it up, but my neighbor was the original owner. I know they built the Chevelles in Fremont. I don't know if they did the Impalas there. I'm not too sure Wait, about that. Wait, what's that? Well, I got that from this guy at this shop up in Auburn. The guy up at WFO. And he sold me all kinds of parts to put on it. And she is all put together, ready to go. She's ready for action. In that uh, 72 Chevy, yeah. Yep, we're gonna coil so, over the front of that and four link the back. You went ahead and put the mini blinds in here. Yeah, you gotta have right? mini blinds in it, yep. Bella. Threw the mini blinds in and hard top, two door. So let's uh, squeeze in here. What's under the hood of this bad boy? Uh, just a little probably a straight six with a one barrel. Uh, these are 283 327 cars. Oh my god, but it's got a it's a little dark in here. Sorry, Santa. It's Let's got an see if I can get my, my 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 phone to come on. Santa's got an iPhone, you know, oh, it's not coming on very bright. So there's something stacked on top of that right there. Yeah, that's called a supercharger, that's for racing.
So LS3 car intake with a uh, Whipple supercharger for racing, obviously. And uh, what year is this one? This motor. motor. This motor's a, I think a, it was a 12. Came out of a 12 Camaro. I bought a wrecked Camaro. Oh my and this gosh. is a six-speed manual. Unbelievable. Oh, six-speed manual? Yes, yes. Oh, God. It's got a third pedal. Third pedal. Let's, uh, let me look inside of this thing. Why don't you, can you open the door from that side or no? Oh, How yeah. do we look? You should be able to Let's look right here. that one. Let's stick the camera in there. And, oh, the interiors. Look at all the dome lights, the kick lights, everything works. Everything functions. Six-speed manual. Oh, my God. Look at the dash. The Impala's dash is, there's nothing better than an Impala dash. Oh, this car. Look at the carpet, the original seat belts. You know, Santa had a 67 Chevelle. My favorite part is rolling down the front window and the back window and having the whole open side of the car. You know, no pillar. Yep, no pillar hard top. And actually, my, my Chevelle had the same color paint as this as well. I, I, I'm not sure, was this marina blue or was this a little bit lighter? I'm not it's, sure. Mine was marina blue. It's not blue. marina blue. This is an aqua color, I believe, That's originally. It's, it's, oh. it's greener in the sun. I'm getting sensory overload. Holy sh... Damn. Okay. Here's something. This is over the top. You might want to go up there and get to see this one. So... GM, right? No, it's not. What is this, Ford? This is a Ford. I'm ah, sorry to say, but damn it's, it. it's a cool one. Oh, because it's a Falcon? Okay, in Ford, and then center engine, basically, or, you know, it's a van, right? So that you're sitting on the engine, basically. You know what kind of engine this has, Santa? What kind of engine? It's got a Chevy engine. Ha, ha, ha. It's got an LS in it. Of course. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> so what what kind of LS is this? This has have? a 2011 Chevy Express uh, 4.8 liter with a six-speed uh, 6L90 in it. 6L90. Yep. Okay. And uh, slammed to the ground. So on bags? Yeah. This one's on bags. Okay. You better peek in there. Oh my lord. Here, come around or poke through the window and look at the inside of that thing. That thing is insane. So. The crushed, crushed velour in there, huh? And oh, yeah. there's the hole in the top. What's going on there? Yeah, I cut that in my driveway. Look at this. Holy moly. So basically the full moon roof, right? Yeah. Basically just like all the new cars that are coming out. I wouldn't call it like any new car, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of air. The dash and gauges are unbelievable. What kind of gauges are in that? Uh, those are VHX. That's okay, VHX. Code of digital is my theme with the LS swaps pretty much. Gotcha, yep. And uh, so two sit up front, you got one back seat and then you basically got your hangout back here. And uh, I noticed the, uh, Another skateboard in the back. Yep. You got your emblem, the whole lowrider theme, right? Yep. It's a lowrider so van, believe it or this, not. This this has all of the classic lowrider look, the white walls, the you know, the graphics, the paint, the sparkle, um, but with new flair that you hid, right? Yep. Let me look at that engine. Oh my gosh. Mechanical fan. Yeah, that's how it stays cool. And that radiator right there with no flow coming at it still works, yep. huh? It's got a belly. It's got a belly pan underneath. It sucks all this the air. Sucks up. Is that how the radiator radiator was from the factory? factory. The floor? Yep. And it sat right there, yep. factory. Same that spot. Is, that is freaking unreal. I feel like I'm in a ski boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that thing's over the top. Like, how did you build this whole thing? I had a lot of help with this one. Yeah. My, my buddy Tyler Pullen, he did the magic on the paintwork and paintwork's unbelievable. Jim Snow from Vacaville, he helped me with all the fab work to make this actually sit on rockers. Not easy when you have steering in front of your suspension. And is it a live axle or is it AR? No, it's got a Mustang 2. Oh, in there. Mustang 2 front. Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of funky From the factory it was a live axle, wasn't Correct. it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it power steering? No. Oh, yes, so yes. Mustang. Sorry, it's it's power a power rack. It's a power rack. Yeah. So. Okay. And what rear ends in it? Um, it has a nine inch factory. It, oh, sweet. Yeah, I came. Is it fast? Oh, it it moves. Yeah. Oh, LS LS the world. LS everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
Where do I do we keep going? If you if you dare to go into the dungeon deeper. So what is this? That's a 53 Bel Air ragtop. Oh my gosh. So what would you call that color? Bronze? Yeah, it's it's a custom color. It's a bronze copperish. So Bel Air ragtop. I see you got some cigarettes here on the dash. Yeah, I get that out of the machine. Oh, Paul Mall's unfiltered. Yeah. Out of your machine. Yeah, yeah. Have uh, those in stock. Gotcha. Have them in stock. That is freaking awesome. Once wait, 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 hold on. I'm looking. First I see the suicide knob, then I see the three in the tree, but I'm seeing some more Dakota digital gauges. It has them. Yes. You don't put those up to a carbureted motor, do you? You can. They actually will work on everything, but they're perfect for any kind of LS or any fuel injection. So what swap. engines in this one? This has a 4.8 with a 6L90 trans also. Same combo as this van. So everybody kind of poo-poos the 4.8s, but they get it on, huh? And you can watch the donut videos. I got plenty of them with this car doing them. <laughs> You've been doing donuts in this car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So is this bagged as well? Yep. God damn. Nine. How many batteries do you go through a year? I have tenders on everything. <laughs> I noticed they're all hooked up. But the yeah. wintertime, it will eat one or two up a year. Absolutely. Like. And you got to come start them all so the gas doesn't go they bad. They all move. They all, none yep. of them sit here for a long time. So what's this little... I, the, the hood emblem, unbelievable on this car, right? Yeah. What's this little windscreen dealy job? What's that do? Santa, you've been around a long time. You should know what that's for. Oh my God, am I dating it's myself? It's a bug deflector. It deflects the air away from the windshield. To keep the bugs off the windshield? Yes, sir. <sighs> Every car should have that. I, I don't see why they don't. Oh my God. So that was on it when you got the car yeah, you yeah. came up with that or yeah it came with the car so yeah. i will tell you that santa must have been drinking a lot of these because i have never <laughs> seen one of those on a car what what's going on here those are spotlights with the mirrors those are original oh it's part of the wait spotlight part of the mirror yes oh my lord yeah. that would be awesome for off-roading is that a cop accessory no it's not it's an accessory from back in the 50s so you got three in the tree though it's it looks like three in the tree but this was a factory power glide car and i hooked all the original oh so that just up. shifted the power glide yep, and it oh. shifts the six speed now okay well i guess santa doesn't know what the he's talking about <laughs> you know well to put a convertible on the ground like this it takes major fabrication and my buddy alan mcgreeny is the magic man when it comes to fab work is the window frame chopped no, that's nope, original. That's original. Yeah. Okay. Original convertible, original sheet metal body. Original looking. Just a full underneath motor tranny. You know, oh, look at the headlights on that van. Oh, this thing is, you know, if Santa's looking for a new sleigh. Well, they'll know yeah. you're coming at night in this one. Yeah, but you know what? This is another one of those you don't drive on Christmas. <laughs> you know, you get your your own Christmas presents in that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm picking it up. I was up at the Bunny Ranch a couple, a couple days ago. Oh, yeah? So it keeps on going. So what do we got here? Oh, that's that's an old KE100, I think, from, shoot, I want to say that might be a 74. Kawasaki KE100. Oh, that feels amazing. You got two of them. Yeah, those were my brother's bikes when they were young. And then, son of a bitch, look at this. This, you're, you're kind of morphing into a, <laughs> this is a little not your style here. This is my wife's. Yeah. But... That is, uh, that is not a low rider. No, it's it not. It is not a hot rod, or it's not a, a four wheel drive. What, what year uh, Corvette is this? The 62. 62 Corvette, so did, would this have like a 283 in it? Uh, actually, first year of the 327. Oh, so 327, okay. That's what it had in it when I got it. <laughs> Let me guess, Let me, okay. Let's take a big guess. What's it got now? It's got a GM Crate LS3. Oh. LS3, and I, I doubt you kept the four-speed. No, I put an automatic in it, and I put a power rack and steering, make it easy for the wife to drive in it. Okay. I definitely put a posi in it for when I need to move it around. The so, and then this car has a live rear axle, right? It's yeah. Not, it's not IRS. Correct. This is the last year of it. Okay, yeah. And convertible, does it have some sort of a top? Uh, it has a it has a, a rag top. That oh, comes, rag that top pops does up. come up, yeah. huh? Yeah. All, All right. right. I mean, it's got a huge trunk too. Yeah. This is the last year of the trunk. Last year of the trunk, and and uh, I I have a, a '67. There's nothing back there. No, I've Hard seen it. It's got an interesting intake <laughs> too. <laughs> what uh? So it's kind of long in the back, white walls. Just a, I mean, all of the cars are amazing, and, and, and I mean, I appreciate what you've done, what you do. You, I think we call this preserving history, right? Absolutely. And being American. 
and doing what everybody should do. And, you know, you, you basically possess all the skills of the trades, right? So I do what I can. I bet you could do construction, electrical, plumbing, right? And all this do, stuff. I do is, a little everything. Enough to get by, but I got a lot of good friends. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a longshoreman. Longshoreman, meaning you, you work at the port, right? Yeah, yeah. Load, load and unload cargo. Good, hard-working American and uh, just showing the world what can be done. So, you know, when other people get home from work and go sit on the couch, that's not what you do, is no, it? No, I go in the garage and mess around. Oh, man. Gary, I'll tell you what, uh, you are a man after my heart. Um, I think what we need to do is probably go uh, take one of the, either the Coney truck or the van for a ride and uh, see if that might work for Santa Slay. But uh, let's go out there and check those things out. And uh, I'm getting sensory overload here and I gotta get my head back in the game for Christmas. It's only a couple days away. Um, let me pound this beer. Let's go for a ride and uh, see what happens. Okay, let's do it. Hop in, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Oh boy. Come on, Santa. Whoa! Whew. It's actually... It's actually quite roomy, isn't it? I, I feel, you know what? Those Jeepster Commandos were about the same. So key right here. Yep. Turn the key. All right. Just brake and gas, right? Brake and gas. And then this is one click for for drive. Go up once. It's reverse. Up. Oh. Yeah. If you go, you're in high. Perfect. There's, oh. Now well, I'm at. Low's real, real Am low. I low or high? Yeah. You don't want low. You want it high. One more. Yep. Up. Got it. Look at that. We'll look both ways, right? Off we go. Merry Christmas! It's crazy. I'm upstairs, so be careful. Hold on tight, Dan. Oh Dana. my god. So, so did you have to import this? No, this came, this is brought into the States really early. Yeah. So it got through the DMZ B system before they got really finicky. So is it registered? It's registered and insured. Santa in the driver's seat, got a little tire rub when we were turning, but you know what, I think uh, this thing is classic and fun to drive in. I don't think I can get enough presents in this bad boy, so uh, we gotta go get in the van. Uh, it's all about the Turbo LS. These seats are way higher than the originals. I was, I was wondering how, how you're gonna fit. Dude, no, it, it, this thing is rad. I still feel good. I hear the air pump going, is that for the air horn? Compressor, yeah. Compressor? Oh my gosh. We're like 10 feet up in this bad boy. Good on rest. Oh, man. Jesus. Another LS powered Chevy right there. Neighbor kids got one. Dude, this thing feels amazing. This, yeah, I think Santa could get used to this for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. Coming into the hairpins, holy shit. Woo! That's smoke in the 44s. Damn. I think this thing might be just a little too much for Santa as well. So I'm gonna keep on the hunt, see if I can't find myself a sleigh. But don't forget, from now till the end of the year, 12% off on the website. No code needed, 
build yourself a van just like Gary. Later.